Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. to another episode of the As Seen on TV podcast for Supernatural, Season 12, Episode 5, The One You've Been Waiting For. I am your host, Mike, and joining me is Dom, and Kim, mm-hmm. and Lady Boop, <laughs> Lady. also known as Nikki. You were holding a Boop sign up. Yep. Boop. So... The Resurrect Hitler episode. Because I didn't know I wanted that. (laughs) I'm still not quite sure if I wanted it. (laughs) I wasn't either going through this whole episode, but I was okay. Until he was actually resurrected and he was a goofy motherfucker. I was saying like he he acted like a teenage girl. Now, Now I'm thinking, okay, is that like from 70 years of being trapped in a locket, or is that just giddiness to be resurrected? Is that, like, the combination personality of him and the guy he inhabited? Uh, no. I think that was all Hitler. That was all Hitler. Every time you, like, see him portrayed anywhere, he's just kind of ridiculous. I don't know if it was just him... Except Ah. in Indiana Jones. Yes, except in Indiana Jones. Also, like, you know... At one point, he mentions, you know, oh, it's all up here. He was, you know, scared of that. He was afraid of this, and he wanted and desired that. I'm like, okay, so he's accessing this other guy's memories, because, history fact, Hitler never learned English. He saw it as mm-hmm. inferior and a waste of time. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, now he's speaking English with it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Now I understand. But um, English, and knows how to use a phone. Yeah, was well. Like, uh, Twitter. Yeah, access. <clears throat> yeah, and Twitter, you knew what Twitter was. I sold th- I sold 12 million copies of Mein Kampf. Imagine what I could do with Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like, what was his plan, though? Go out into the world and start tweeting, Hi, I'm Adolf Hitler resurrected in another body. He'd have been laughed at as a kook. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't stop anybody on Twitter, though. Good point. This is true. This is very true. So, um... The Thule family... I forgot all about them. Didn't I just mention them last week? I was like, you, you know, the the same people that resurrected the golem and all that? You know, you did mention them. You're right. And I just forgot that their name was Thule for whatever reason. Mm. And I'm guessing that's because they seemed like they could have been a really interesting major villain, what, two seasons ago? <laughs> Three? <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted by the cat. <laughs> it was two. Um, yeah, like what was it? Two or three seasons ago? I forget when they first introduced them. They seemed like they could have been a really awesome recurring villain. And then that was they it. are. Well, they are now, yeah. But but I don't know if they're like a cool villain. They're more of a ridiculous villain. Well, now it's yeah, ridiculous. but they're still they're still not over. Like they no. they're still there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. So we'll see more next season, which is confirmed. Oh. Oh. All right then. Um. Yeah, everybody's favorite German. Nazi well, I'm not saying it's confirmed that we'll see them, but next season is confirmed. Next season is confirmed. Yeah. So we could see them. So yeah, the whole premise mm-hmm. um starts off with a lady trying to buy a golden watch with the eagle symbol of you know Nazi Germany on it. On the swastika. Yeah, the whole shebang. And her and the shopkeep gets set on fire, which, yeah. They, what? Okay, she grabs the is. Was it triggered by like greed or something? Because he mm. he was holding on to that watch for a long time. And then he started like saying, "Eh, well, you know what? You have to pay more now because you know, I said so." And she was like, "No, bitch!" And then you no, the guy fire. was standing outside. Yeah, we've seen right. At the end of the scene, the guy was outside. Yeah, and they gave us the flashback to a previous episode when they were setting people on fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So right. that's that's one of their things. They're fire mages, or something. Um. 
They have spells and stuff. Yeah, they have magic. That's how they're yeah. still alive, because the main, you know, baddies this episode were people who were standing in the bunker with Hitler when he blew his brains out. So, necromancy involved. Yay. I don't know, this was just a really goofy episode, and I, I'm just too scattered to know where to go with it. Like, um, I was actually kind of hoping the girl would stick around longer. I I think we're gonna see her again for sure. Like I have that feeling. It's gonna be but... one of those things where she calls up in the future and hey, I have some weird shit I'm dealing with, or as they're much, back after me. You know. As much as I hated Charlie, I, like I just hated her character, but I loved how she added to the dynamic of Sam and Dean. Like that whole. I don't know. I just feel like they need that back, since Mary fucked off and she's doing her own thing. They need that that third wheel that that's a girl to just kind of bring them down to earth because they're starting to do that like the brotherly you know wiener sizing up against each other kind of thing and you what? know the competition that, it's, that it's they the... constantly have yeah. all the time um as the only other guy in this call and the only guy in this call who has a brother does that happen no okay. not at all you guys aren't sam and dean and you don't work in a you know in a really it's competitive, that, like, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, it's like, it's that competitiveness. It's, it's that they need to be better than they've been. There's, the, there's yeah. no competition. I'm the better brother. <laughs> anyway, I'm not, I'm not talking point. about you and your brother. We're talking about <laughs> Sam and Dean. Oh. Well, there's no competition. Dean's the better brother. I'm with him on that one. Dean all the way. Because, <laughs> because he killed Hitler. <laughs> Well, oh my god, he did not episode, let that down. Episodes away, all of a sudden he's going to turn around and be like, I killed Hitler. They're going to be <laughs> ten seasons in. He's not going to mention it for five seasons. And then one day he's going to wake up and just sit down, have his pie for breakfast, and be like, Sam. Sam's going to go, what? I killed Hitler. And Hitler. I killed Hitler. <laughs> That'll be the, the <laughs> final words of the, the show. When the, the season finale, last <laughs> words on, on screen. Yeah, but I killed Hitler. <laughs> like, yeah, they're facing oblivion or whatever end, and it's just like, at least I killed Hitler. <laughs> your point, your point is invalid. I killed Hitler. <laughs> I actually, you mentioned pie. Dean refused pie this episode. Yeah, that was that was the weird he, thing in the beginning. He didn't feel like pie at the moment because. But not only was it pie, he, he wasn't still, hungry. He was yeah. He's still brooding over Mary, even though Mary got back to him and everything. It's just like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's weird because this is typically what we would call, you know, like a side plot or a B plot or, you know, what kind of episode. But there's really no plot to the season yet. Not yet. You know, it, it's, mm. yeah, we have the men in letters, but for all intents and purposes, that's over for them. We know there's more stuff going on in the background, but they don't. You know, so you got to look at it from that perspective. They don't think there's much going on with that anymore. Like, they've come to an agreement, they, they've parted ways, mm -hmm. it's over. So they're back to doing what they do, and that's that's looking up cases, you know, and, and they're going case-by-case -case basis. So it's not really side plot, you know? Like, it was a really fun episode. It was, and you know, it well, reminds me of... don't have a plot yet, you know? Kind of like season one, there was no definite plot. Yeah. There was Monster of the Week episode find Dad. with the overarching Find Dad thing. Mm -hmm. That's right. about it. I liked that, too. I mean, And season season one was enjoyable, definitely. Yeah, this is very refreshing, I gotta say. Um, I mean, last season was refreshing because they had plot inside plots, like, mm -hmm. in, their, in their side plot episodes, so that was really nice, Even... and, like... Even the ones we've seen thus far here, like the mm -hmm. the one with the house, uh, two episodes ago, what mm -hmm. was that last episode? Last episode, the last, last episode, girl. the one with the house, and you know, it, like we had that, and them focusing on that, that but we had uh, Crowley and uh, Cass really driving the 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 story still, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. searching for Lucifer. They still, they're yeah. still doing it. They're still buddy buddy yeah. right now. Yeah, and, heard like, going in the background. Sam and Dean were like, hmm. What is this? Look, I could have yeah. I mean... I bought the soul of Hitler, but really? The devil? <laughs> okay, so I thought it was really weird. This is a weird thought that I had going in my head when I was watching the episode. Because she went from being like this 
super talkative, like timid, like whatever. And all of a sudden, she shoots a guy, and she got this whole different attitude. All of a sudden, and I'm like, that, that's survival in instinct. I, I guess, but somewhere in my head, I went, what if, what if, what if, what if Hitler went in the wrong body for a second there? That's I was that's, hoping Hitler was going to go in her body. So it was I. So I got Didn't this weird. Did he explain like, that you know he didn't? He he only needed her blood, not her body, and yeah. Yeah. that it's so. I, it, As he put it, you think I would, you know, reincarnate the greatest man who ever lived in the body of a weak and I forgot what else he said. He called her a couple of things. Yeah, exactly. But get Hitler in your body acts like I mean, a ridiculous. <laughs> we also had a kind of a subplot, you know, like a side thing inside the whole bad guy fool thing. The um, the son of one of the senior members, the one who became Hitler was kind of, uh, not having it. Ooh, like he's a millennial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He needs his Starbucks and his hipster glasses and, you know, his, his, you know, really stupid long books that have no meaning whatsoever and they usually have a little bit of erotica in them, you know, whatever. And he's reading it at the cafe. He's a millennial. All right. I like the stereotyping. I do. Yeah, too. that's exactly what it is. Um. <laughs> Get off my lawn, kids. Ooh, I like that stereotype too. I like it. Get off my lawn, kids. Um. Yeah. Also, uh, I do have to say I appreciated the epically long punching scene. It just seemed <laughs> like it was five minutes of Sam, Dean, and three guys beating the shit out of each other to no that's end fine. <laughs> that, that's perfectly fine mm-hmm just I don't know why I, that scene entertained me so much that I actually watched it twice what <laughs> entertains me is knowing how much fun those guys are having fucking around in between takes or during takes to, to, like to punch people I know. yeah and I don't know, what was interesting to me this episode was the, the like the pawn shop place. Um and like having the secret room and all that and it got me to thinking like how many rooms like this exist in the bunker? You know, that they don't even know about. They have rooms that are not closed off that they don't even know about. You know, like they only like two seasons ago just found out they had a garage. Like mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I mean if I was living in a crazy place like that, the first thing I would do is be exploring all the nooks and crannies. I mean, I'm sure by now they've checked every room, but I, I doubt it. At least Sam has checked a a good amount of them. There's um, no way that they have not checked all the rooms that they know about, like that are are accessible when they're trying to do research to find information out, knowing that this bunker holds every piece of information that is known about every supernatural creature out there. And they've done research to try to find ways to stop certain ones that they can't. They they've hit dead ends. There's no way that they haven't checked every room in that place. Yeah. There's no way. I buy it. To be honest, I think there are secret rooms that. Oh they, yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no way that they know how to get into them. So that's why I think, what's her face is gonna come back. That I don't like, and. They're going to be not chummy, but they're going to work together. I see it happening, considering they have Mr. Ketch trailing them, cleaning up their messes. And mm -hmm. she I was Ketch this episode. He yeah, there. I was surprised that yeah. Ketch didn't off the, the Hitler girl. girl. Like, the girl. I was really surprised about that, because... Well, she's there's not supernatural. Always... No, but her blood has the... Like, they can still resurrect Hitler in other means, and her blood is his, I in mean, a sense. I don't think so, because, like, the soul was bound to the watch, they transferred it to the new body, and then Dean blew his brains out. <clears throat> How many times have Sam and Dean come back? Alright, 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 alright. Right. <laughs> Anything is fucking possible in this show when it comes to resurrection. No one's ever dead. I also want to know who the hell Dean knows to get his hands on a grenade launcher. <laughs> You're, you, you'll someday, Dean. You'll be able to one day. Yeah, no, someday. Like, someday. <laughs> someday, Dean. <laughs> and then two minutes later, like maybe I should have let Dean use that. You know, 
Maybe. Maybe. But... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You're fighting a bunch of, uh, you know, immortal Nazi necromancers. You think maybe loading in some incendiary... Or yeah, they can only be... You gotta burn their corpses. So load in some fire grenades and start shooting people. Yeah, because he just happens to have a whole box of different types of grenades to, to load in the launcher just lying around. It is They're running out of bullets for their gun. How, I mean, I only looked at the grenade launcher like for a few seconds. I don't even think it was actually visible for more than that. Could it have been from the Men of Letters bunker? It looked really shiny, so I doubt it. Unless they polished it, or Dean polished it, because, you know, he wants to use it. Probably polished because Dean wants to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe he found a Dean weapon. Dean seems cache? like the kind of guy to polish his own gun. <laughs> I mean, well, I'll be uh, there. It is with the face uh, palm. Well, <laughs> you put it there. Yeah. It's not like they uh, run into too many women friends. Or so we know. <laughs> Not lately. Yeah, we haven't no. had, yeah, we haven't had the, the Dean sleeping with some random chick lately. Yeah. For a, a long time. A while, a while, yeah. Been a while. But since Dean Mon. He is emotionally <laughs> fragile. Oh, yeah. You know what, right? Since Dean Mon, he hasn't well, done any of that stuff. Now he's mama's boy, so. Yeah. You know. He also realized that no love could fulfill him like Crowley's love, so he just gave up <laughs> on women. Oh, God. <laughs> so. There is that. You're making all the <sighs> Death Steel people really, really sad right now. Yeah. I know. That but no, I think I think we'll see them again. I don't think it's going to be this season. Because mm -hmm. when when Season 12 was renewed, uh, they they renewed Season 13. Mm -hmm. um, it, was a, it was a package deal, these two seasons coming. Not to say Season 13 won't be the last one. It's completely possible. But knowing... This, I feel like they're gonna at least throw one more Nazi episode um, into season thirteen because having that's that's the beauty of of renewing two seasons like that is they can plan overarching, overlapping kind of things to go into the season where when you you're only going season by season and you don't know if you're gonna get another, you cannot set stuff up like this. Like you can, yeah. you can just leave it and this would be open ended and you never know if you see him again and. People would be completely fine with that, but, but. knowing that you know it, it's open ended, they could already be planning when they were writing this episode, the like the hooks to. I has to a question. For the next one. If they've already, you, you know, they're already planning the next season. Mm -hmm. Right. How busy is Jeffrey Dean Morgan going to be in the next season of The Walking Dead? Because he did say that he would love to come back for a small right. arc soon. So, uh, without spoiling anything um, yeah. for The Walking Dead, um, he's very obviously a very, very big prominent role right now on the show. Um, currently in the comics, still not really a spoiler, the comics are about four seasons ahead of the show. Negan is still alive. Okay. Um, so, does not mean he's there all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I feel like after this season of the show, he's going to go to like a reoccurring role and show up every so often, much like the governor um, okay. was on the show. So I, like there'll be room, I feel, uh, for him to go and pursue other things after this season, maybe next season, you know? Because if Mary's back and she, you know, she's going to be, she's obviously not, like a stand-in character, she's not there for the whole time. She's reoccurring. She's gonna be here, there, like every like three or four episodes. I want to say. Yeah. If she's back and she's still back next season, and they bring Daddy back, even just for like two, three episodes, even even just two, just two episodes, I think that little story arc with them both being like at each other's throats because they're husband and wife and they're like and she's angry about the son's hunting and it was all his fault because she want he wanted vengeance against yellow eyes because she died because of yellow eyes and it's gonna be like i i think it's gonna be interesting because sam and dean are gonna be like <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> yeah. Mom and Daddy are fighting. Oh no. Mom, Dad, please don't fight. <laughs> oh my God. It's gonna be like in the middle of fighting monsters mm. and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's back and forth as they're stabbing vampires or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mm -hmm. think it would be hilarious. It would be amazing. Absolutely hilarious. Because um, I don't think we ever saw that, you know, actual dynamic of them together. Like, the actors together. Mary and... No. Yeah. We never did. When they were... They, they uh, had younger Outside characters. of the pilot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really. That's about it. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I think it'd be interesting because she's a great actress. And Jeffrey Dean Morgan is... He can be hilarious. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and he can be hilarious. Him and uh, Jensen Ackles are constantly screwing with each other on Twitter. Like, yeah. picture him <laughs> holding uh, the bat. What's its name? Lucille? Lucille. Yeah. He, he, yeah. He's holding it. He's like, hey, uh, look what I found. <laughs> like, hey, Dad, look what I found. Um, Yeah, you're not getting this back. <laughs> <laughs> and then I forgot what, the, what he replied with. Like, uh, son, you weren't supposed to find that. Well, was just, so there's another like I'm gonna need that back. It's like I'm gonna need and... that back ASAP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Goofballs. Um. So you were mentioning that we were missing the recurring female role. You know. Oh yeah. One more before I move on to the next episode. Uh, I was actually surprised, and I should have mentioned this when Dom meant, uh, when one of you mentioned you're surprised Mr. Ketch didn't come and shoot. Uh, Hitler's descendant lady. I'm surprised he didn't show up to track down the son of the not of who escaped, who they let go. I mean, that's possible too. I mean, but like you said, he's not he's not supernatural, not, and he doesn't really have a catalyst for anything. Really, he's just a little asshole, <laughs> and now he's going to be on the run from the. The Thules, so I mean, why would Ketch even care at that point? I don't know. Sorry, I I just had to go look. I went and found the the post, and it's just a picture of Dean holding no. the bat, and Jeffrey's exact words. And he goes, "You weren't supposed to find that. Gonna need her back, son. I mean, I already gave you my car, and I don't know, sort of died for you." <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, all right, then. <laughs> so, yeah, as I was saying, uh, for next episode, you said we were missing uh, the, f you know, recurring female face. Well, we're getting a couple of them next episode. Um, really? Yeah, anyway, the episode's called Celebrating the Life of Aza Fox. Okay. Um, when hunters gather together to celebrate the life and tragic death of one of their own, Sam, Dean, and Mary must take action when a demon starts picking off hunters one by one. Haven't had a demon that, like, you know, be a dick in a while. And yeah. if you watch the promo, uh, you got Sheriff Mills and possibly even Donna. Awesome. <laughs> cool. I, with Mary in there with the tr a trio? Yes. A fucking yeah. trio? I'm so excited. I, for Mary meets uh, Sheriff Mills for sure. Cleo has to watch this next episode. She has to. She's not getting out of it. We will tie her to a fucking chair and pry her eyes open. She's gonna fucking watch this episode. I don't think so. So is anybody else concerned? <laughs> well, I just want um, next episode ep is episode six, right? Yeah. 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 Um, the girl Nikki, the girl who plays Toby's new girlfriend, fiance in Pretty Little Liars. You know her? Y yes. She's in this episode. Okay. Of Supernatural. She's she's she plays a witch. Wow. A bitch. Yeah. Or a girl okay. that was raised by a witch. So I don't know if that makes her a witch, but the girl's name's Alicia. I know that much. I mean, if she practices, yes, but if she yeah. just was raised by one, doesn't mean she's a witch. Yeah. She's one of the she's one of the hunters. Um, but I don't know if that that makes her witchcraft. It's her and her brother. Um. Mm. So I, that that's, that's really that... all I know about the episode. That'd be interesting for hunters to, you know, do more yeah. than just cast a spell, a rudic spell here and there. Like, actually do, like, witchcraft. Yeah. To hmm. take down their foes. 
Yep. I wonder how Dean would feel about that. He's not a fan of witches. Mm-hmm. That's good reason. And uh, there were rumors. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Billy is is also supposed to return. Oh, the blonde. The Reaper. The Reaper, Billy. Oh, Actually, no. The Reaper. There, you know what? I saw her. Her face is in the promo, too. Okay. So okay. She's, she is in the next episode as well. Awesome. So we're we're getting a full load of females this episode. Okay. All right. <laughs> Even more reason for Cleo to watch. <laughs> Indeed. But we'll, on that note, I think we're done. You think we're done? Yep. We're done. Dom, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me down below uh, at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E. D-O-M. Oh, I accidentally got the... Sorry, Jeffrey. <sighs> Kim, where can they find you? On the Twitter. H-U-F-F-I-T-Y. P-U-F-F-I-T-Y. Nikki, how about you? You can find me on Twitter as well at Lady Venom 24 L-A-D-Y E-N-O-M 24. And you can find me on Twitter at Philadrin right there. You can find all of us on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google+, MySpace, and YouTube at ASOTV Podcast. You can follow us there, those places, for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows, movies, and games. Thank you all for watching. And, uh, yeah, don't stumble across any golden Nazi watches. <laughs> Nazi! <laughs> <laughs> You were really enthusiastic about the Nazis right there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>